Hello everyone and welcome to Creative Wednesday. We're bringing back our old school tutorials and share five exciting editing or filmmaking tips every single week as of now. And to kick it off, we're going to have a look at five creative things that you can do with the rotoscope tool in After Effects. But first, do you have an awesome t-shirt like this one yet? I don't think so, so go check out cinecom.net and click on merch. Alright, hopping into Adobe After Effects. Let's first see how the rotoscoping tool actually works. When you double click on a layer in your comp, you open it up in the layer window. Look at that. Now right now we can click on the rotoscope tool on the top to start drawing a green stroke on our video, which will make a selection around the subject. If something is selected that you don't want, then hold down Alt, which will change your brush to a color red to remove anything from that selection. So you want to fine tune that a little bit until you get your selection right. There's also a hair tool under the roto brush. Just swipe around the hair which will give much better results for that. So once you're done, I recommend setting the quality to best before starting and then just hit play or go frame by frame forward. After Effects will do the rest and the new 2.0 version works insanely good. And in a recent copycat, we even used the rotoscope tool instead of keying out the green as that was giving us better results. Now when you see your rotoscope going wrong, simply use the roto brush to add or remove something from your selection. And once you're done with everything, you can go back to the main comp and change the settings of the rotoscope effect to fine tune the edge to your likings. And once done with that, we're going to bake this rotoscope into the shot so that it cannot move anymore or do something unexpected. So go back to the layer window and from there click on freeze and this will take some time so it's perfect to watch a class on Skillshare in the meantime. A big thanks to them for sponsoring and making this tutorial possible. As you all know I'm very active on Skillshare not only as a teacher but I'm also constantly trying to learn new things. Now, one of the recent classes that I've seen is about creating short social media videos by Helise Narvaz. Now she is super excited with some humor throughout her lessons which I really like. So it's a perfect class to watch during lunch definitely since the lessons are so short. Now she talks about some fundamental things like where to get inspiration from and how to keep these short videos interesting and so much more. I can highly recommend to check it out as well and the beautiful thing about Skillshare is that you can watch any class with an active subscription. There are tens of thousands of creative classes about filmmaking, visual effects, creative thinking and so much more. And of course also my own classes for if you haven't seen them yet. And because Skillshare was so kind to sponsor I'm able to give the first one thousand students who click the first link in the description down below a free trial of Skillshare Premium and after that it costs less than ten dollars per month so go check it out. Now back to After Effects. My freezing is done. You can always unfreeze if you need to make any changes to your rotoscoping but this is how the rotoscoping tool works. Now let's check out five creative ways to make use of that. And for the first one you want to look for an abstract video. You can also make this yourself obviously. Then just drag this into your composition below the clip that you've rotoscoped and below that I have a duplicate the same clip without a rotoscoping onto it. Now for the rotoscoped clip I'm going to change the track mat. You can bring up this option by right clicking in the columns and choosing modes. Then from there you can find the track mat menu, pick the first one alpha mat and that's it. Your abstract video will now fill up the rotoscoped clip and with some clever cutting you can make a super fun dance video with this technique. <laughs> Trick number two, you want to shoot on a tripod and have your talent stand in the frame and then walk out to get an empty frame. In Adobe After Effects, place these two shots on top of each other and rotoscope your talent out. Now for starters, we can bring down the opacity of the talent's clip, which will already make him appear as a ghost. And since he's rotoscoped, we can actually place him now wherever we want. But that's not the point, we're going to add a blue glow around him just like Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars. To do that, drag the roughen edges effect to the talent and set the edge type to roughen color. Then pick out a blue color and increase the border. You can further tweak it to your likings, but what I like to do is animate the evolution over time so that the edge constantly moves around. Next up, search for the glow effect and drag that to the talent as well. Set the glow based on to alpha channels, then tweak how the glow should look and finally choose the colors of the glow. I like to increase the blacks a little bit to give fading over Janik and the whites to a slightly blue. And that's it. Use the force! 
The third thing that you can do with rotoscoping, and for that we're going to shoot from a tripod again to have an empty shot as well. Now place those both in the composition and rotoscope the talent out, just like before. Now, because we're going to have our talent in a separate layer, we can add distortion effects to it without affecting the background. And there are a bunch of distortion effects. Now, here are a few that I like the most, starting off with CC Smear. Okay, that was not intentional. That's just how the effect looks when I drag it to the clip. I'm sorry that you had to see that, guys. All right, we can change some of the parameters to make Janik taller, but give him a small head, which is really funny. Or the CC lens effect. Bring the convergence all the way down and then animate the size to make your talent appear out of nothing. And if you would add some extra camera shake and perhaps like a smoke overlay to it, you get something really fun like this. And basically any of the distortion effects on a rotoscoped subject is fun to play around with, so try to experiment yourself, guys. We're on fire, guys! You're gonna make so many cool things after seeing this video. And if you do, don't forget to share that on Instagram and tag us in your post. I'll leave a link to our Instagram in the description below so that you can follow us there as well. Alright, trick number four, the big head effect, which is a lot easier than you might think. This time, you only need a single shot of your talent, but make sure that the neck is clearly visible. If you have long hair, then tie it together or wear a hat, like in this example. And after effects, we're going to duplicate that shot and rotoscope the top layer. It's best to rotoscope the entire person out. Then right click and pre-comp the layer and make sure to move all attributes into the new comp. And this way we can add a circle mask around the head and feather it a little bit for a smooth transition. We can now go ahead and scale up the head. You see what I did there? A head? I know. Now, to make that neck transition a little bit better, take the warp effect and apply that to the head. Set the bend mode to zero and pinch down the vertical distortion so that you can make the neck smaller. You can also change the warp style to fish eye to make the head even bigger and, you know, that's pretty much it. You got yourself a fun big head effect now. And this brings us to the last trick on the list, Aww. which you'll just need a shot of your talent for. Duplicate that clip in After Effects and rotoscope the talent out in the top layer. Now this time we're going to do something with the background, so that it seems like the actor is in a virtual world which is falling apart. Search for the VR glitch effect and drag that to the background. Now this effect has two things, a channel offset creating those RGB colors, and a distortion chopping up the image in blocks. Now this is completely up to you, but I like to keep the distortion to a minimum. Now what's really fun is when you animate the color evolution, you get this wiggling background effect. And you can make it pump here and there by spreading out your keyframes. In the bottom there is a noise option as well, which you can pump here and there as an extra touch. And finally, I'd like to add the Lumetri effect to the background so that I can animate the tint, the temperature and the exposure as well. And if you'd like to automate some of these settings, you can alt click on any of these properties and write a wiggle expression like this. The first value defines the speed of the wiggle and the second is how much that value has to change. And that gives you an automatic flickering throughout the video. And that's basically it, your background goes crazy crazy now without affecting the talent. If you've learned something new today, please consider liking the video to help the YouTube algorithm and don't forget to subscribe to see a new and exciting tutorial every single week. Thanks for watching, thank you to Skillshare for the support and as always, stay creative!